which I mean, a lot of people um, work on the weekends. So uh, UFC is something I look forward to. And a card like that, it, it definitely sucked yeah. to miss it. Um, but I mean, you know, yeah, world doesn't revolve around killing us. each other. Dudes were, were out there yeah. fucking just doing. Damage. Well, it was cool. It was just different. I got, I did get to watch some of it at work. Like for example, um, Bro, so the I, three, the three main fights were like they could have been three separate fucking cards, pay per views, like, like main events. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why. And you know why I think like Sean won? They're gonna run a trilogy with them. Well, at least well, I mean, what if he wins? Oh, I guess yeah. No, they're the gonna run so, it back. It's so debatable that they're even if even if Sean wins the second fight, they might still run. Yeah, hundred percent. I agree with that. I mean, me personally, I don't. I think Peter Yawn won that fight. Um, he took him down six times. Technically, with those well, I mean, yeah, six I'm, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, I'm saying six takedowns stuff. Obviously, Sean. One and also salute to him because either way it, it went going into that fight, I didn't think it would be that close. I thought Peter was going to win, and then I did not think Sean honest, was going to hold, hold his own. That Sean ate. Yeah, I thought he would have. I thought he would have been like at least taken advantage of more. Yeah. when it happened, I have was you like, heard him talk about it afterwards? Hell fight? yeah! What do you say? Fuck yeah! He's like, he's, he's my boy's like, I gotta watch the fight. That's all I keep saying because he knows. Did you see his face? Whose face? My, it was my face too. He's like. And the winner is Sean O'Malley. I take that. No, I didn't. I didn't notice like, that. Literally, he's like, I got a little, yeah, I got a little yeah. excited. I was watching it with my coworker, oh, and like, I was just stoked. like, you know, I was assuming he was gonna lose, and then when he got, I was like, oh yeah, I got. I was like, I, was like, I said, if Sean O'Malley <laughs> wins, and I said, if Sean O'Malley wins, my, my bets are solidified. Uh, if he wins, yeah. And then TJ just saw how to go. And you blew it. Well, you didn't no, blow it, but TJ no, blew TJ it. TJ just saw blew his shoulder out. <laughs> yeah. And it, it you lost your out. money on his shoulder. So oh, on a, and on his shoulder, he knew the entire training camp. It's true. And I was like, Popped you know it out what? 24 times, he said. It's, bro, and I was like, you know, this is the type of shit, motherfucker. And I was like, I wish I was rich as hell. Yeah. I'd have been like, how's your fighter been this past month? You know what's interesting, though? Like, so we... When you're not betting on the shit, obviously you always want the fights to happen and things like that. You get so upset, even if somebody pulls out for a genuine reason. You're like, "Fuck!" Like, however many times Tony Ferguson your and Khabib, mom died? you're Fuck like, you. "Yeah," you're like, "Bro, what the fuck? Show up to your I'm job." Scared, scared, scared. <laughs> no, but like that kind of gives me a different perspective on it. When you actually put money on it, like you really hope that people are open and transparent. You know what I mean? Like, I love Bro, not when somebody fights. When somebody fight, because I never bet on the fights, so it's like when somebody fights, and then at the end of the fight, when they're like, "Yeah, I didn't want to make any excuses, but this or this happened," I always salute them and respect yeah. it. But then now, when you put it like that, it's in a way kind of ir- like it's still commendable, I suppose, but it's a little irresponsible at the same time 100%. because it's like you have people that like you bet however much, but then times that by ten, people are like Dude, bet yeah. ten thousand, a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand oh, yeah. on TJ Dillashaw, yeah. and he was coming into the fight without disclosing his actual status. I was as looking far at a 10k goes. win now. I bet you somebody was looking at a nice milli. Oh, for sure, for <laughs> sure, and, and and they're betting on that without knowing, like I said, the status of the fighters. So I wonder. Yo, I don't know, dude. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I was yeah. like, I wish I knew. It's I wonder, like, if, you you, I wonder if you could fight that. Like, if you had like the money, like no. I, I don't know. I feel like you might be able to. Be I don't know. That's kind I think of you spy. maybe could. I mean, yeah. What? Because that's crazy. I think so. Yeah. How could, dude? Fuck that. If I do, K man, compromise. You're betting on me. Yeah. Well, I have to fucking live my life according to. No, I'm saying. I know. I'm saying like, if you bet with like like the MGM. Or some shit like that, like, and you take fuck? a loss there. I 100 percent think that if you have like, for example, uh, the right legal team, you just got money to spend yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you could fight that 100. percent I think Yo, you could probably you get your money back. I'm suing you because I not not lost. not TJ Dillashaw. I think that's uh, a situation where you probably get your money back from the people that you betted. Uh, I, maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe okay. you could. Maybe that's a. I wasn't thinking about it like that, but maybe well, you could go after TJ Dillashaw. Injury, be real. If it, was, if it was an injury stoppage, like the thing is, like I'm saying, I, just, I don't know if they give you a push on that. Though, you know, yeah. I mean, if they, you have that in a parlay. I don't know if they give you a push. Interesting. On, okay. On, on injury stoppage. I think that's still a loss. You know? I, I that's agree. interesting. I didn't even I think agree. of that. Yeah. See, I'm not as tapped in with the uh, betting shit, gambling. So it's I, like, I, I, I just believe I think that might be how it works. That's your choice, bitch. Yeah, yeah, I think that's how they do it. That is your choice, but when you made that decision, you, it's, a, it's, it's a choice, but also a decision, which means that you take you information hurt. that you have. If you don't have accurate or dishonest yeah, yeah, information, yeah, yeah, yeah. this motherfucker yeah, knew he was so hurt, true, to your bro. point. Really yeah, so he's, he's, he, he competed in a compromised state, and he knew that he was compromised. And so he it, knew people ethically, was betting on him. Ethically, you pull out of that fight for your own good, for one, and like I said, that's, I've only thought about it from that perspective right. as people pulling out because it's like, yo, I'm not going to risk it. But on top of that, yeah, I mean, like, I, I, it's just an ethical thing in general now that I'm thinking about it. But I've just, I've never even thought about it like that. 
So I, I, I appreciate you bringing it up, to be honest. I mean, I know I've put in a parlay, and then I think one of the fighters missed weight or something, or something happened, and, like, the fight wasn't going to happen, and then they just did my parlay, but they did it without that fight. But I think I even kept the odds. Because it maybe, might have been, like, a no contest type shit where it, like, doesn't, like, like disqualify the fight happen. The, like, the, the fight that wasn't going to happen, so, like, it just took it out <coughs> and it left my card. Yeah, mm. because that, that fight, That's uh, Sean O'Malley got, like, DQ. Not even DQ, he got stopped. The money got, I got my money back on that one. Interesting. So you do get it back on injury stoppages. So they just call it oh. a push. So I was wondering about that. that so in your case, sense. hold up, bro. So you were doing a parlay. You had a situation where one of the fights happened, like some bullshit happened, and then they took that fight out of your parlay, but then you kept the same I think so, payout? Yeah. Okay. Well, also, T, TJ got a TKO, so it wasn't really an injury stoppage. Like, he fought through that shit and yeah, then yeah. got TKO. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what, If it was an injury stoppage, I felt like your bet would still have went through. Oh my God. Well, been, how I'm do you not feel not about Aljamain after this fight? I think he's. I mean, he's a. Un, he's like quiet as kept. He's a very nice fighter. Like he, yeah, skill wise, he's mastered he his he's style. Done it, but he's a corny ass dude. He's corny as fuck, but he's mastered his. What did he say at the end? He said, he said something like backpack corny. strap. Yeah, the human backpack. Oh if God. I get on your backpack, it's a rap rap. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I felt bad for all my Jamaicans yeah. out there <laughs> when he said that. That was wild. Um, but I mean, he's very he's confident in his style, and he's yeah. he's master. But it's like it he can whoop bad. So like, what can you say to him? It's true. And it's then true. he's getting better at his stand up, well, which makes him dangerous. Well, to I think I just the hate second wrestling fighters. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we need strikers in the UFC. We want blood. I feel you on I'm that. Piggybacking but and choking out—that shit's cool and all. I'll actually, you know what? I'll take well, the Islam what, choke. That's why because the, that's a man's choke. <laughs> that's a man's. choke. No, it is a man's choke. It is. No, that yeah, Islam bro. choke. You, you're physically stronger than a man when you. A choke lot of people. Like I see. I mean, I I that's disagree with you because I think that the, well, the way he grappling. Though, he, he no, cranked, I mean I agree with you. Off his only, but if you watch, like he cranked. Choked off. him with Oliver's own muscle. Yeah, yeah I agree with you on the Islam choke, but I'm saying as far as like we need strikers. Oh, I, I, yeah. I agree that the uh, striker fights are the most exciting typically. But when you see a high-level grappler, like, for example, Char Charles Oliveira even uh, in his previous fights, like, when you see how aggressive and, like, he's attacking the entire time. I, I, I agree. I don't like grapplers okay. that, that play Fair defense. Enough. They get on the ground. John, well, hold up. Let, let me just finish yeah, okay. with the Char Charles Oliveira point. Um, is, like, a lot of grapplers, you'll see them get down there and they'll hold a guy down and they'll just play defense the entire time and All barely right. do it. There'll, there'll barely be any action. But when you see a grappler, even like Khabib or whatever, where they're constantly attacking and they're constantly trying to get position, that is, I'm not going to say it's more than uh, more exciting than striking, but it's a situation where I feel like you're seeing the same, a different, but the same level of like human chess at that point. You know what I mean? When you're seeing like how they're moving their limbs in the, in the position that they're grappling. Like even in that, that Islam choke, you make a great point, where he's trying to get over Charles Oliveira and they're already calling it like, yo, if he passes uh, his body and he gets on the other side of his body, this fight is over. Yeah. So Charles Oliveira knows that better than any of us in this room. So that's a chess match. He's like, or he's thinking the he, same thing. He's like, yo, I can't. Go I don't ahead. think he was thinking that. I think he was not taking that shit serious and he thought he could get yeah. involved or just do what he did to everybody else. But... Yeah, because it looked because yeah. when he got when that shit, when he locked when Islam locked it in, bro, it was the first moved. minute and a half. Islam literally punched him with an overhand right and shook his world, bro. It was literally yeah. almost over. After well, but that. he got it was the second round when he got tapped, right? No, yeah, he tapped in the second round, but I'm saying the fucking like the yeah. first exchange, he yeah. wobbled Oliveira immediately. Mm. Mm. Fucking bop, and Oliveira was already on his I back. Mean, I, I just I just think when I was watching like the, the tap and shit, the build up to it, he kind of slipped in. His hips, like his his hips over, you know, into the full guard, and Oliveira looked like he was just trying to slip his arms out, but in slipping his arms out, he left himself vulnerable for that choke, you know. And Islam slipped in, stuck, yeah. and then he just started cranking, you know, cranking it off, squeezing legs and squeezing yeah. it. If you look like his head, his legs were like digged into. I mean, first of all, getting stuck like this anyway sucks. Vicious. You cut off your your main vein blood to your head anyway, so mm. as soon as you get tightened up like this, it's yeah, there's no oxygen going to your head. So. Yeah, no, man, he was. I, I, I do. I think it was just a lazy fight by Charles Oliveira, though. Yo, literally, I agree. I don't think he's serious. Think it was very lazy. Yeah. They all do that. I <laughs> think. I think he didn't come in with a great game plan. I don't know if Hill I. And fair, as long yeah. as literally that nasty. He's, a he's great going guy. in as the top. Um, whatever, not the underdog as against Alex. Alex, the underdog in this the fight against him in Australia. Mm. Yeah. Vol Volonowski. Yeah. Alex is, is that underdog. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's interesting. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> but I just think, uh, but uh, and so was Charles Oliveira. I'm pretty sure was an underdog. No, I know. But yeah. the, so, but uh, he just didn't come in with a good game plan. He came in too loose. I mean, it well, just didn't. How seem much of do you think the weight cut could play into that? Because yeah, he's got to go. Charles Oliveira, he struggled. Well, he didn't make weight last time, and then this time leading up to it, I, I showed you actually the he photo. Like he was fucking um, Jesus yeah. Christ! It, <laughs> I mean, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, and no, he white robes just touching him like. Yeah, everybody, body. Try, everybody trying to uh, take give them some of his their life force. Yeah, they're just, they're just dying. I'm like, yeah. well, get to spend some food. Yeah, so like for me, I, I mean, I do put a lot of credence in that. I think you, I've seen a lot of great fighters come in after rough weight cuts and just look flat, and bad. That is, that is such a conversation that needs to be talked about. Yeah, I hate. Like, I'm 145. There's no way I'm cutting to 120 to fight. Like, I'm going to have to fight someone my my size that I walk around naturally. That's probably walking around at fucking 180, 160. Yeah. Not 180, but, like, they're definitely walking around 20 well, pounds yeah. heavier than me. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, so I mean, when they're it, coming into that fight the fucking next day, they, they got another 10 pounds They're blown back up. On. Yeah. And if well, that's if you get so if you if you get lucky, you catch them where they're malnourished and they weren't able to rehydrate yeah, appropriately, I guess. Yeah. Um, and that's the risk they take. But you're right. In most cases, those top level fighters, they do it successfully and they come in and you're fighting somebody that's in reality okay. 15, 20 pounds over. Uh, and they're doing that for the advantage. I do wish that there was a situation where maybe they put a stipulation where it's like you weren't able to fight. More than like maybe ten percent below your body weight or something Beautiful. like that. I was about to say that stay within five pounds yeah. over, five pounds under. I don't know why that's not a thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean that you your have natural weight five pounds. Over, Other leagues yeah, are starting to regulate that, and like they're start just starting to regulate on weight cutting by like exactly. checking your people your, get their uh, ass water, with. Let me let you know like shit your right water now. percentage in your body and stuff like that. Yeah. Like yeah. Charles Oliveira sweating out all the liquid of his body in that picture, like that wouldn't be able to happen. That's dangerous. That would, that would be done. Yeah, and that's what they're trying to get rid of. You know, in the other leagues that, yeah. you know, other than the UFC. I mean, but it's like, it's such a big part of, like... And they've been doing it, the but UFC, whatever. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't understand. That's it. what I'm saying. It's such a big part. It's been, like, yeah. ingratiated. Like, it's a rite of passage. Well, and, yeah. and outside of the UFC, like, I mean, yeah, I think... Everybody boxing. In wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, amateur wrestling. Boxing, wrestling. too. Anything you just saw it with Devin yeah. Haney. It's all about whatever advantage you can get, but I think that... Especially in professional sports, we should be trying to uh, limit things like that, like unfair advantages. Right. You know what I mean? We shouldn't like we shouldn't just openly accept that. Oh, people are going to game the system. This is something like we know this is happening. This is not something There's that's some like cutting edge. Weights. Yeah, that can go from fucking heavyweight to fucking middleweight. Right. Well, <laughs> like, the story with Jared Cannonier, but he fought yeah, at yeah, like fucking a, middleweight or some shit. This man is it has been a heavyweight, heavyweight as well. Yeah. Well, he's a he was a middleweight recently, so he's actually no, lost he's, weight. That's what I'm saying. He's, yeah, yeah. He, he used to fight at heavyweight. Heavyweight, yeah. But now he's fighting in uh, middleweight with Izzy and all them. Mm -hmm. And you he, saw his build is huge. You, well, and we saw Izzy fight the light. Uh, heavyweight champion and it looked crazy. Yeah, you actually yeah. Know, that's a good point. He got yeah. laid on the whole time. He got laid on the entire time. I so mean, that's not even heavyweight. Djokovic is or whatever his name, Jerrock, whatever. Jan Blakovic. Blakovic and Djokovic. <laughs> yeah, he's actually fired though. So yeah, he's, he's decent. He is, but he got his ass tore up by Glover Teixeira. But well, I mean, no, he's decent. No oh, shame in that. Heavyweights is like what you know what I mean. He's decent. Well, it's light heavyweight, I think, right? Glover Teixeira, well, I believe. Yeah, light heavyweight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But still, is, is and decent. he's like when that's he beat his ass, he was like forty years old. Not much people stay around that long. Yeah, and then he got he just recently lost to Yuri uh, Provovich or whatever his name yeah. was. Yeah. yeah, so either way, um, what other UFC fights were there before we moved on? We talked about the TJ. Dirish. Oh yeah, that fool, <laughs> uh, Benil uh, Darius. There's yeah, there was a uh, hit him so hard. With yeah, we watched a highlight afterwards. Left hook made him do a somersault. Made it a back. Flip. Yeah, he flipped him back up. He got him. <laughs> Yeah. Seeing Jesus, it was crazy. Damn. Um, when I watched it, I'm like, "There's no way he gets up." And the dude actually like rolled out, then rolled back in into like trying to take the dude down. I'm like, "That's crazy." The man's got a solid chin. I feel like we're missing the third fight. Chin oh no, we talked chin about Jan. Diamonds. Yeah, yeah, we talked about. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Jan's. Sean, Benin, Benin, and Sean, yeah, Benin, fucking yeah. Aljamain, Sean, Aljamain, uh, Aljamain just he's yeah. gonna he, it's, he's gonna win a few fights. I mean, he's gonna hold that belt for a little bit. I don't think so. I, think I don't think so either, soon. Yeah. dude. I think you know, if he's going to wrestle people the way he's been doing. And the way to think out? about it, that yeah. table you were sitting at, or you, you saw, it's uh, Sean, Peter, TJ, fucking, that was the top, no, not even top four, but those are the top athletes in that weight class. Yeah, that's what, so he's fighting Sean. Now. Oh, I heard him talk about Sean was going to fight. Uh, well, he called out Sugar Tits. Yeah, yeah. Well, he called out a lot of people. Yeah, he well, called yeah. like three or four people out, but yeah. 